to YouTube and welcome to this episode of the Dumb and Raw. So yeah, let's get this job done, baby. So this is the second part on the paintwork on this Honda Accord. Pretty big job um, all the way down that side, but the two doors are actually second hand doors, so got to paint inside and out. I'm just giving the blends a bit of a tack rag and that's why, because all of that um, that overspray turns a bit dusty on your blends. Anyway, I've got the clear in the gun, we're ready to go. Pro Light TE20 1.3. What I've actually been doing lately is winding the fluid in for the first coat. What I was getting is a bit of solvent foil. So what I've started doing now is wind the fluid in and sometimes on a big job like this I might even give it a 5 or 10 minute bake in between coats. And that means the first coat's nice and dry so you're not trapping all the solvents in there. Uh, this bonnet was actually a freebie, uh, you can see I did some touch-ups on this side, but supposedly the owner of this car is like, it is um, the lawyer that works at this place, we have a lawyer, supposedly, and um, but the boss just said, nah, just paint the bonnet for him, he said don't go to town on it, it's a freebie, but let's just fix up you know, the worst of the zone shift, the big one, and um, I don't know, it nearly, <laughs> it nearly doesn't look any better, you know what I mean, look at that, but I did warn him, like, it, it actually looked worse after I started sanding it, because you can see all of the little stone chips in it, and I said to the boss, I'm like, man, that bonnet's bad, like, it's really bad, and he said, no nah, man, it's a freebie, like I'm not going to spend time on it. He said, just smash loads of clear onto it. I'm like, okay, well, yep, you're the boss. I'm not going to argue. That's fair enough, though. Like, he's got a good point. Like, it's, it's a freebie. Like, he goes, I'm not going to spend time on it, you know. Better take that down. It's not sticking properly there. in my last video that the repairs were barely even done on on the body of the car like the panel meter didn't even do them there was massive massive dents that I had to do myself around here but it's all good I've got the skills mate Gunny's got the skills to pay the bills put the first coat on the inside of the doors. One coat is more than enough. I'm using the PPG D8173 clear coat. We still are out of stock of the um, 136. Yeah, I think I said at the start that I'm using 136, but I'm actually not. It's the Deltron. D8173 
between two, I'll probably um, hit bank for five minutes, go out. I still haven't cleaned out my bank so gun, so I'll go clean that out in between both. And uh, yeah, that'll kill a bit of time. So it'll probably be 10 to 15 minutes all up between coats. You know, it'll be yeah, five minute bake, then it'll go through the cool down cycle, then I'll hit spray again. So yeah, 10 to 15 minutes. These fried up on me. Hopefully we'll just They were freebies again, like they were freebies, so I can't imagine the boss wanting me to repaint them.
think part of the reason that winding the fluid in has been working is that it's not as hot here in Melbourne as what it is in um, Perth over there. So in the hotter months, you really need to just get the material on and just get it down quick, you know what I mean? Because it's, it's drying very fast. So in the, in the colder climates, yeah, you, you need less material. Look at all that overspray, man. I'm in a cloud of it. I reckon I'm going to need to mix up a little bit more clear. See how we go. Yeah, I will. do this door but I'll do that door and then I'll have to go out and mix up a little bit more clear
back in a few minutes and mix up a bit more further. If you ever do something like this, do it there because it's a it's a spot that you barely ever see it. You know what I mean? Because that's where the rear door sits and it sits like that, so it's it's sort of always pretty well out of sight. And then don't full paint up to it, just sort of leave it. I'm not even doing a blend there, but that'll be fine. I mean, mate, it's a, it's a 13 or 13 or so year old Honda Accord. You know, it's not the flashiest car, is it? You can tell just by how the overspray is sitting on the rest of that bonnet that it's nice and dry. You see, it's not really sinking in, it's sort of all sitting on top, which means we're not going to get solvent flow. Two nice banging wet coats of HS Clear. It's actually looking not too bad. Considering how bad it looked after that first coat, I'm not going to say it looks great, but definitely starting to fill in lots of those stone tips, the small ones anyway. Radio guys, thank you for watching as always. You guys are legends. Thanks for watching through till the end. Yeah, as I can say, like a lot of those little ones that just started filling up. There was actually heaps through there that have filled up. I think the way that I put that clear on tails, look, I'm expecting them to sink down a little bit after a bake, but considering how bad it was it doesn't look too bad anyway guys we'll give you guys a close-up look Roman edition gdi pro light baby t20 1.3 the old workhorse man that gun oh, how old is it i think they actually they've got the date on the side the build date on the side 2019 that's their three-year-old gun still going hard mate use that thing for clear on pretty much every job. I always find myself coming back to my pro life. That's like, considering how bad that was, it doesn't actually look too bad, eh? I 
don't know, some of those small imperfections don't show up, but there you can see, that's actually a bit of dust. Yeah, good enough mate, it's a freebie anyway. I'm happy with it mate, I'm happy. Radio guys, if you want to support the show, check out the link in the description and you can buy yourself some Gamma merch, including these spray suits. Until next time, get out there and paint some shit coming out.